In this video, we're going to look at how to use the if error function in Excel to uh, to avoid uh, error messages like this one right here, or like these, or any several other similar error messages in Excel. Um, sometimes the error messages you know just mean that you need to fix whatever is wrong with your formula, uh, but in this case, there's really no way around this here. In this little spreadsheet, we're calculating the percentage change from year to year, and in the first year, we had zero sales, so um, there's no way to avoid dividing by zero, which of course produces an error. So the way, or one one way around that is using the if error function. If error, you can see, is really simple. Um, it's just the if error, and then a value, and then the value to use if if there's an error. So to demonstrate this. I'm just going to copy this and we'll paste it down here. And then here, instead of just dividing one uh, number by the other, we're going to edit that cell. Say if error, open our parentheses, and the value that we want is the dollar change divided by the first year sales. But if there's an error, then in this case, I'm just going to put a dash in there. And um, you could use a number, you could use another formula, a cell reference, you know, or text. But if it's text, you have to enclose the text in quotation marks like that. And we'll close our parentheses to complete our formula. And we'll copy that down. And you can see that now we just have a dash there instead of the error message. Now, um, using if error to hide those those errors isn't just about making your spreadsheet look better too. Uh, a lot of times, an error an error like that can cause you know, problems down the road. Like here, we were trying to sum these columns, but the error up here is being reflected in the errors up here. And same thing with this one. This is multiplying across and those error messages are you know, are affecting that. So in this spreadsheet here, um, we're doing a VLOOKUP to pull uh, data out of this table over here uh, to populate a, a smaller listing up here. So let's let's copy that again. And we'll look at uh, at another example here and how it affects other formulas. So if we put in our if error, and then we're going to go to the end, and this time we're going to put in a zero. So we'll do an example with a number, and we'll copy that down. And you can see that changes to zero now instead of NA. And we'll copy that over. And now, since both of those errors are fixed, you can see it it uh, fixed the errors on the resulting formula in in there, and um, in the in the sums at the bottom also. So that's the if error function. Don't try to use it to hide errors that you need to fix. Um, but in situations like this where they're um, where they're unavoidable, then if error is uh, a really helpful solution.